Deputy Pittman, you asked a question in the States yesterday of the Attorney General to uh, confirm or deny if any States members' phones have been tapped in the last 12 months. Can you ask us, can you tell us why you asked that question? Well, I asked that because uh, there's a climate at the moment which I don't think is healthy for democracy. There's concern over parliamentary privilege and, more importantly, the confidence that constituents can have in contacting their uh, their politicians. So that's why I asked the question. By the confidence, in, you, you say, of, of uh, the public um, contacting their elected representatives, um, what do you mean by this? Do you think that people are fearful of contacting their, their representatives? Well, this can only make people f fearful. If you want to get in touch with me, you want to know that that is a matter between me and yourself. Now, with what's happened with Senator Sivere, uh, it's not a personal issue with him, but the way that the matter was handled, that's got to create a climate of fear, and that's what I think these measures are doing. I know that there are members in the States who feel that their phones have probably been tapped. So that's what I was trying to extract from the Attorney General. OK, so you asked the question and naturally he gave you an answer. Um, what was his answer and what does that mean? I think the answer was left for anyone to interpret. The way I took it when he said that he could neither confirm or deny, uh, the only way I could take that was, well, that was a yes, that people's phones have been tapped. Because if he said no, then end of question. Is there any particular reason, anything stopping him saying that no phones are being tapped? Is there anything that, that, that could have stopped him saying that? Well, the Attorney General alluded to the law, and if there were any cases going on, then obviously I could see that there'd be an implication that he couldn't comment. But uh, really what he gave to me was a, a non-answer. It was very unsatisfactory. Um, the issue is where do I go from here? I'm just your normal man on the street, and you mentioned the, 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 the Senator Sivre business where his, his house was um, effectively turned upside down by the police without, without a warrant, um, with all sorts of sensitive data and information taken. Um, so, and now we have the possibility that these, our, our state members' phones are being tapped. Um, so how, how can anybody communicate with their elected representative safely anymore? How, how, how do we do it? Well, sadly, I think the, the outcome of all this will be that people feel they can only communicate directly, like we're standing here, face to face, and that's got to be a negative thing. Many people will phone states members up in the first instance. When they hear of these concerns, I think there's a, there's a danger that they won't. And that means that important issues, maybe even whistleblowing, uh, won't happen. That's got to be a bad and a damaging thing. It's a, it's a horrible state of affairs. Oh, I watched a report on Channel Television last night where um, I, I believe it was Julian Martindale uh, described after the Attorney General's answer. Basically, I think her words were, the conspiracy theory lives to die another day. Do you think it's fair to call your um, assumptions, shall we say, a conspiracy theory? Well, I've not seen that, uh, that programme, so this is the first I've heard of it. But no, I think it's a classic uh, sort of put down. Anything could be a conspiracy. The fact that you cannot prove it at the moment does not mean that it's a conspiracy. Uh, we could have had a much better answer, I think, from the, the Attorney General if he'd clarified, yes, there are cases, but for obvious reasons I can say nothing about it. I think that might have put people's minds at ease somewhat, but the, neither clarify, confirm or deny, that leaves me thinking if there is uh, more to this than uh, meets the eye. It leaves me and people like me think, um, believing, the, believing the same. Um, am I right in, I feel that it, it's all big brother sort of sort of stuff and I, I know a lot, a lot of people like me, your, your normal pleb in the street, are now um, just thinking we're living in, in, in a police state watched by, by, by the big brother. Do you think that's fair for me to feel that way? I think whether you're right or wrong, there are a lot of ordinary members of the public who are feeling that. And as I say, that is an unhealthy thing for a democracy. A very unhealthy thing. And it's got huge implications. You speak to people like Senator Sivri himself, he's quite adamant that his uh, phone was tapped. He's implied that his uh, emails were monitored. Now, 
regardless of what one thinks of Senator Sifre, I don't think that's acceptable in a Western democracy. That's not saying I agree with everything Senator Sifre says or does, that's not the issue here. The issue is about democracy and freedom from information, really. I, I totally agree with you and um, thanks for giving us your time today, Deputy. You're welcome.